We often forget how beautiful life is and become trapped in a cycle of daily routines. I've decided to start romanticizing my life through video to remind me that I'm the protagonist of this story and start appreciating even the smallest of excitements that pass me by. I've decided to start making these videos because I kind of was not really paying attention to what I was doing on a daily basis with all the mundane tasks that I have to do and just lots of uh, keeping busy my life just kind of passed me by so I mean we wake up go to work come back home work on social media for a bit and then I mean same thing all over and over and over so I thought that by making these videos to kind of make me see what life really should be like, more exciting, more romantic, pretty, that it would help me out to kind of gain that spark again that really excites me about just living in general. Since it was my day off of work, I decided that I wanted to do something for me, something that I would enjoy to kind of de-stress or, I don't know, decompress from the week. <laughs> so I really wanted to go to one of my favorite coffee shops and just kind of draw and work on my social media and play some Animal Crossing like we all have been doing during this lovely pandemic courtesy of the you know what <laughs> but i got ready i got did my hair used a clip i've never done that this is the first time i used a hair clip and i actually really enjoyed it once i was done getting ready i decided that i was really feeling myself so i wanted to do a tiktok and i'm just gonna put it right here For legal purposes, I cannot put the full video on here, but my handle is on screen if you want to go follow me and check it out. This lovely hairball is my cat, Espeon. I still cannot believe that I tricked my husband into naming her Espeon. If I had it my way, her name would have been Umbreon, but he didn't like that name. He knows absolutely nothing about Pokemon, but I still managed to trick him into it. <laughs> Okay, if you've ever tried to do anything that requires dexterity while looking through a viewfinder, comment down below and let me know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Okay, quick privacy notice. <laughs> yes, I'm showing the outside of a house here, but it's not my house. The inside of the house in the other shots is the inside of my house. This is an Airbnb. Please don't go looking for it in Provo. I don't want to not be able to use this Airbnb ever again because it was really pretty and uh, just be respectful of people's privacies. Thank you. One thing that I absolutely love about living in Utah is the mountains. Look at that. They're just 
beautiful and uh, they have, they're just all throughout the state, like on central slash northern Utah, they're so pretty, there's Mount Pinogas, etc, etc, and then down towards southern Utah, there's the Red Rock and St. George and all that beauty down there, I just, uh, it gets me. I hate the winter though, I, that's the one thing I don't like about living in Utah. Okay, so this is one of my favorite places um, that is kind of closer to my house. Uh, it's called Peace on Earth and it's got some really, really cool coffee uh, options, I guess. I think this is one of their temporary, um, limited time, I don't know what you call them, uh, drinks. It's called the Bill Nye and it was a charcoal coffee, which was really good. Those swirlies that you saw right there were actually glitter. Um, but I think charcoal is good for you. I'm not entirely sure, but if it's not, somebody please let me know so I can stop buying them because they're actually really good. <laughs> so I woke up really early this day and the first hour of me being away, I spent doing my hair and getting ready and feeling good about myself because I feel like when you really feel good about the way that you look, your day just feels so much better. Um, but then when I got to the coffee shop, I really wanted to get some drawings done. I do a lot of drawing. Um, I didn't put any video of the drawing that I was working on here, but if you guys would like me to make a video about that, please leave a comment down below and maybe we can work something out. Um, I also decided that I wanted to, like I said, work on my social media because that's something that you have to work on daily. And I also wanted to relax, so Animal Crossing is my go-to right now. Really quickly, one more thing. I do advise that you wear masks when you go out. I ran out, but I still really wanted to go. I really shouldn't have but I stayed probably like 12 feet apart from everybody else. I was in my own corner. As you can see, everybody was pretty far away from me. But if you have a mask, please wear it. Be safe, keep others safe. Then I worked on my social media for about an hour as well. Um, this is something that takes a lot of work and people don't really realize that getting past the first, I don't know, 600 followers is really, really hard and you have to put a lot of time into it. But it can definitely be very rewarding, um, not in terms of other people's opinions of you, but in terms of if you make it something that can be a career or brings you money from it, then why wouldn't you do it? Just as long as you know that your worth is not dependent on this one thing. After that, I walked home and I decided that I wanted to take a bath because treat yourself. But um, I took a really nice warm bath. I had a lot of fun. I did some singing in the bath. Um, I enjoyed, I don't typically take baths, I take more showers because I feel like bath is just kind of, I don't know, like laying on your own juices, but if you wash before and after, I think it's fine. Although it's a little bit gross still, but baths are fun, I guess. Not very sanitary. <laughs> And for all you nasties out there, I was wearing a swimsuit just in case anything came out that wasn't supposed to. So don't get any ideas, friends. Can we also talk about how relaxing it is to just sit in a bath that's really warm and watch a movie? Like that's one of the most relaxing things I've ever done. 
I do think that this was one of my um, favorite parts of the romanticizing of my day uh, because I don't know when you ever when you ever <laughs> whenever you watch a movie um, that's kind of you know like has that vintage romantic feel you always picture somebody taking a bath in a standing tub like mine and I don't know like having fun splashing the water blowing the bubbles the whole shebang so I think it really it really helped for me to kind of see how your day can be made a little bit more exciting when you think of yourself as the main character of your own movie it feels kind of silly but I don't know maybe maybe it's just me <laughs> See, how cinematic is this? Just me washing my toes in the bath after a good day. <laughs> So that's everything for today. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and uh, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part of the romanticization of my day. And uh, hit the notification button so that you can see the next time that I upload another romantic video.